Saturday, 16th of December. Uh, welcome to another Vlogmas. This is episode 6 and I thought I would start it this morning. This is the last weekend before we go to Norway and I'm still persevering with my contact lenses. I've got to go back for a checkup tomorrow. Still not going well, but anyway, we won't talk about that. If you're new here, welcome to today's video. My name is Anakin. I design knitting patterns. I teach knitting workshops online and in person, and I sell yarn through our website, yarnaddict.co.uk. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. And please leave me a comment to tell me what you're getting up to this last weekend before Christmas. It's Christmas. It's Christmas Eve next Sunday. I don't know. Anyway. If Christmas Day is next Monday, then I guess if you live in a country celebrating Christmas Day, you have another weekend. But we celebrate on Christmas Eve in Norway, so we don't get that extra <laughs> day uh, for preparations. Anyway, I've come into my office just to get a few things. Um, plans for this weekend is today we're going to stay home and mainly do jobs because the weather's not great. Um, and I'm going to open my events and then I'm going to go downstairs. I need to wind the yarn. I'm going to take with me on holiday. So I was saying in the last vlogmas that I'm going to knit my twist hand warmers. Uh, brioche twist hand warmers, which are free with my online successful brioche course. And when I teach brioche workshops, um, brioche and previous workshops, uh, you get that pack for free. And it's free with my successful brioche knitting online course which is at an introductory price at the moment till the end of december for 25 pounds it'll normally be 30 pounds so make sure you go and check that out if you're a newsletter subscriber you get an extra 10 percent off um so do go and check that out i'll put the link below i also got pattern discount this month so you can get 25 percent off all my patterns at payhip and ravelry and use the code dec23 DEC for December 23. All the details will be below. Anyway, I'm going to knit those twist hand warmers and I'm going to knit a matching cow because I wear a lot of cows. And last last winter for me was the winter of the cows. And I designed about three brioche cows. And I released a lace cow lace recently, the Arctic, Arctic Lights cow. And I got another cow, which is just we're kind of getting towards the end of the tech editing which is not, this is not a new cow, this is a re-release. So I re-knitted the uh, Travella cow and I was thinking about taking this with me to wear on holiday. Um, but I've decided I'm going to knit a new cow. I might still take that one, I don't know. But I've decided I'm going to use these two, I think. So my options are these two, these two, these two, or these two. Maybe this one. Or those two. These are merino silk. These are merino. So these are the new Knit Pro yarns, uh, Symphony hand dyed yarns, which I talked about in the previous Vlogmas episode. So I'm going to wind those up. I'm going to wind some yarn up for another project that I need to work on as soon as we get back from Norway. I haven't cast it on this week. I thought about it but I've put it off it shouldn't take me that long to knit I have two weeks to get it finished when we get back and I something I could probably easily knit in a weekend so I uh, it's a small accessory so I'm going to wind the yarn make sure the pattern is ready and then I set a reminder on my phone for when we come back so I don't forget so I'll probably cast on maybe on we come back on the well we get home here in the early hours on New Year's Eve so I might cast it on like New Year's Day or something I don't know but um, I'm going to go and wind all the yarn in a minute and I'm also going to pack all my accessories, knitting accessories I need and notions and things, needles and stuff that I need for my trip to Norway. Uh, my main project when we're away is going to be um, a new sweater like my pink fluffy one. I've ordered some lilac yarn which is, has arrived with my parents. So that's going to be my main knitting project. Okay, because I'm trying to finish the uh, poinsettia blanket that I'm knitting with my Yarn Unique DK Merino Advent. I'm going to open, because I opened a couple of days ahead. So, day 17. Oh no, I've done 
I've knit it up to day 16. So I'll say today. So day say 16. So day 16 is included in the previous Vlogmas video. So I'm going to open day 17 and 18 just so I can get those going. I've also been opening next week's uh, adverts because I'm not taking them with me to Norway. And then I've just been saving them so I can slot them into Vlogmas videos <laughs> next week. Um, and I've got one that I'm working at the moment, which is for next week. And then I've got these two and then I've got three more to do for next week. So I've basically got six to do and I really need to finish all the squares by tomorrow evening so I can block them and then crochet the last ones together on Monday so I can finish it before we go. So I'm really close to managing that. I should be able to do three today because we're going to be home most of the day. So even though I've got all this stuff to do, I can take breaks and knit in between. How much knitting I'll get done tomorrow is another matter. We're going to go to we're going to, go to Plymouth first thing tomorrow. I've got to go for another Specsavers contact lens checkup. Still not happy. So I had the original ones last Sunday. I went back in on Thursday because I wasn't happy. I couldn't see my laptop, basically. I was really struggling to work. They changed them, and my close-up vision is much better, but my distance vision is really bad. And I wore them yesterday when I was teaching, and driving from Plymouth to Dawlish in Devon was I was really struggling to see and I'm not sure whether I should have been driving with those contact lenses <clears throat> I was fine teaching that was okay everyone were a bit blurry but I could see close up and I could help people with their problems and that kind of thing so that was fine uh, I took them out just after lunch because I wanted to take them out before I drove home because I wasn't happy to drive home with them in the dark and so I need to go I'm going back tomorrow because at the moment it's just not good so anyway let's do advent so let's do day 17 first this is yarn unique also we have been on a pink streak we are still on pink but we're moving into some orange on the end we're moving into purple you can see it's a little bit more purple on this end it looks a bit darker in real life than it does on my camera so we're moving into purples day 18 so this video will be out on the 19th so i think we'll do day 17 or 18 in this video then I'll save the rest for I don't know I've already actually opened day no have I I've actually yeah I've opened day 19 and actually already knitted it up it's downstairs so I might show you that in this video I might save it for the next one I'm not sure so this is day 18 so that's Monday so this is purple with a little bit of pink and a bit of orange so we're definitely going into purples because this has it's basically the same as that, but it has more purple in it. So we're definitely moving yeah, into purple. Really hooked up. I've opened some of next week's already, but I've left them in their bags so I can add them. When I've opened all of them, I can add them to my little string of advents. So I can show them off all together. I'm hoping to film a video on Monday about what I think of this year's advents um, and my plans for this one. So this is day 17 of Truly Hooked. So yesterday, what was yesterday? That was yesterday's. That is day 17. So we're going into more blues with a bit of purple. So I know that this advent will, the end will fade back into the beginnings. So I'm assuming we're transitioning through blues into purples. That would be my guess. But I don't know that for sure. And then let's do day 18 as well. Okay, so more blues. Um, so day 17, day 17, day 18. So we're going into more blues with just a little bit of green. Okay, I've got a lot to do today. Yarn prep, packing, some cooking, some knitting. So I'll try and show you a bit of it. And then tomorrow we're going to go to Plymouth, which is about 40 minutes, half an hour to 40 minutes in that direction and then we're going to go straight from there to Trelissig which is a National Trust property near Truro which is an hour in that direction so it'll be an hour and a half from Plymouth to Trelissig um, but we really want to go because they normally have quite a good Christmas display at, at Trelissig and we'd like to go and see it so it'll be our last National Trust property for this year because our membership expires and we weren't going to get another membership next year, but we're thinking we might do in the spring. But all the properties will be closed from January till Easter time anyway. So hopefully there will be another Christmas themed day tomorrow. Okay, so I'm winding yarn. 
I saw the warning. I thought I was filming it because I thought I'd film a few minutes and speed it up. Saw the warning this one. I got about halfway through and suddenly my ball shot off the end. And then I also heard a piece of metal hit the floor. So I found a little screw and I couldn't work out where that screw was from. Simon happened to come in the room as this happened. So I had a moan to him and he came and helped me. And he spent ages trying to work out where the screw was from. What we worked out was that on my... Uh, let me see if I can show you. But this bit was like moving up and down quite a lot. And I said, I'm not sure it's supposed to move up and down like that. So we ended up finding my video that I shot when I first got this, which is like a review and how to use it type video. And Simon watched that for ages and he worked out that this wasn't supposed to move up and down. And the screw had come out of the top here. So we put it back in. I'd, in the meantime, wound the rest of this by hand. But now I just rewound it into a ball and then it got really tangled towards the end because the end came out in the middle. This one I had started winding on this one but it wasn't winding properly so I wound it by hand. Then I thought I'll try and wind it on here but I ended up just breaking it and winding it on here. So this one is now in two pieces because I thought I haven't got time to spend all day on this. I will just spend nearly an hour on this and I've got other stuff I need to do today. So finished winding this and I've got two other skeins I'm going to wind and then I thought as I have it all set up I'd also wind a couple of minutes for my blanket but I'll probably just put them on here and then wind them by hand because I don't think it's enough to really go around here especially not with the DK but yeah so I'm watching a bit of YouTube and winding this and I thought this would all be done by now but it's not Next up on my to-do list today is to sort out my knitting kit that I'm taking with me to Norway. So I normally put all my knitting stuff in here. So I'm just going to take my bangles off. This is my little notions tin that I keep all my like important notions as stitch markers. I've got a piece of um, base yarn here for afterthought heels if I decide to knit socks. I'm not taking any sock yarn with me because this is, I've got a little... One of these, if I use, have to put something on hold on like the barber cords, I can use those to fasten it with. So I got all the, and I got tape measure as well, so I got all the bits I need in there. So that's going to go in here, but we'll put that in last, I think. Um, let's see what needles we need to bring. So I am knitting the twist hand warmers, just to see what needles they require, because... That is four millimeters so that's fine and then i also am knitting um my uh pink jumper knitting it in a different color and i think i use three and a half but i want to just double check that quickly because i need to bring i mean i can buy needles in all if i if i bring the wrong ones but it would be easier to bring the right ones because i have so many needles i don't want to have to buy any more if I don't need to so that is two and a half millimeter okay cool so check that so I need three and a half millimeter needles I need four millimeter needles I got these new um, lantern moon ones so I'm going to take those I don't know if I'm, I might cast on the twist hand warmers before we go these are 60 centimeter cables so i'll take those these are the 80 centimeter cables for the lantern moon needles so i'll take those and i'll pop these in here 
it let's see what's all in here so i have two row counters i have a couple of crochet hooks i don't know if i'll need those i have some pens i have one of these barbacore thingies i might bring another one of those i need my pencil i have a rubber i have my ring counter i don't think i need that actually and i'll leave that behind um we have a yarn oh we have post-it notes that might come in useful so i don't know why i've got crochet hooks in here i think i might take those out because i don't see why i should need those on this trip and i've got some pens in there so i want to put my pencil in there in case that's in case i want to do some sketching or charting or anything like that by hand we'll put that in there We'll put this one in here, but I might actually cast some for the twist hand warmers. Depends on how much I get done on Simon's hat. So, my plan is to put all my needle tips in this new sleeve. Um, I got the thing to tighten up a the moon needles in here. And then I need to go through my needle case and pull out what I need from here. So I keep all my needles in here. I'm going to take one more barber cord with me and then I will need that one and I will need that one. So put the rest away. I could probably do it taking some sock needles with me. Okay, I'll try and find some sock needles. I don't know where they are, but I'll, in case I decide to cast on some socks while we're in Norway. So what do I need? I'm going to take some four millimeter ones in case I don't, I decide I don't like the lantern moons. Okay, so I'm wearing contacts. And I'm wearing my original contacts, which are not very good for seeing up close. And these are very light print on here as well. So I'm going to just check that these are four millimeter because I can't read them properly. Which they are, so we'll put these in here. Okay, these are a bit long. This bit doesn't go over properly. How long does these compare to the London Moon ones, I wonder? Well, they're the same length as the London Moon. No, they're slightly longer than the London Moon's, Moon ones, I think. Okay. Um, maybe like half a centimetre longer. But they don't fit in here very well. So that's not good. Because that was kind of what I thought I'd buy this one for. I'll put them on the end here. And then they can just stick up at the end here. That'd be fine. Um, so I need three and a half millimetre. Three and a half. I will take two three and a half just in case I miss one, lose one, whatever. A lot of the local shops, yarn shops in Norway now, will sell, sell three and a half millimetre needles. Okay, so these... say three and a half millimeter but on my needle gauge they're a little bit tight in the three and a half millimeter hole so i think they are three and a half millimeter they were certainly in the three and a half millimeter according to my needle gauge they're more like 3.75 but they do say three and a half millimeter on them i think they say as well I think my mum's local yarn shop now does sell chow goo, so if I bring the wrong ones, I can always get them there. Um, so let's put actually, let me just take one set because that would probably be enough. My mum's probably got three and a half millimeter needles, or I can probably buy them in her local yarn shop. So let's put the second set back in there. What else do I need? Um, Let's take some three and a three point seven five as well, just in case. I don't think I'm going to need them, but we'll take them, just in case. Actually, no, I won't take them. Three point seven five. Are they the right ones? Yes. Let's not take those. Let's be conservative this time and only take the bare necessities that I think I will need, and then. Uh, while we're here, let's just put these away. And then I need some cables. So I'm just going to put these away. What are these? Four millimeter. Sometimes when I finish knitting something, I don't put them away. Let's see. So that's quite a long cable. That'll probably be perfect for my sweater. 
we'll take that one this is a really short cable so we'll just take the needle tips off and take that one I twist the cables through each other so that they don't slide around my bag so easily and have we got any in between the ones yeah let's take one of those as well so we've got three different length cables that should be fine i got two different length lantern moon ones so that should be fine in terms of cable probably more than what i need but just in case i run out of knitting for some reason which is unlikely but so let's i haven't really got a lot to put in here um but we'll still take that put that in there put the cables in here put those are going back in my kit put that one in there oh and then i want to take my um scales i got these new ones because they're quite they're a bit thinner than my other ones and they're a lot lighter and that one comes off and goes on top so i think they're just a bit, bit quality the mild ones um i think the ones i got recently if you've been watching regularly i got some not that long ago but they're a bit thicker and heavier than this and these are a bit lighter so they can go in there and then my tin can go in there as well i might take the tin out and put it separately in my suitcase i don't know so this is all going to go in my suitcase I might actually put, take the tin out and put it in my rucksack because i've got a rucksack with me and a suitcase we're traveling hand luggage only um I will probably end up taking that tin out and putting it in my backpack and then putting the rest in my suitcase because I may need that on the way, especially if I finish manage to finish Simon's hat. But I'll leave it in there for now. And then so that's all the notions I need. Okay, let's go on and get the next job done. Sunday we went to uh, Trelissic Gardens, which is a National Trust property. It's between Truro and Falmouth in Cornwall. It does have a house, but it the house is not very big. There's only a few rooms, like two or three rooms open in on the ground floor of the house. And then the garden, there's big gardens. The gardens look amazing in the spring or summer. This time of the year, they look a little bit drab, as most gardens do in December. But we did go down there and it's it was amazing. It, the decorations in the house were beautiful. They have a really nice coffee shop and courtyard area there. They have a second hand bookshop. They have an art gallery and they have the National Trust shop, obviously. But I did film a little bit from the garden and then in the house, most of the rooms were too dark to actually film. The light setting on my camera when I film is very different from when I take photos. So I was able to take photos and the light was fine. But when I tried to film anything, it just didn't work. So it was just too dark so i've included a little bit of a video clip from the garden at realistic and um some photos from the house the decorations in the house were just beautiful <laughs>
it is Monday after lunch. You may notice I'm wearing um, glasses. That is not because I've given up on the contact lenses. I went for my checkup yesterday for my contact lenses and they tried a new prescription. So distance in one eye and reading prescription or slight distance prescription in that eye. I can't remember, but different prescription in each eye rather than multifocal. And it is so much better. I wore them yesterday and it was fine. I could see enough to drive. I could see enough to read. So it was much, much better. But I only have nine days left of the trial. They gave me 10 pairs to try. Um, and I wore one pair yesterday and I got nine pairs left. And I want to save them for my holidays. So as I've worn contact lenses every day for the last eight days, I thought I would have a day off today and wear my glasses. Um, so I can save my contact lenses for Norway but I think maybe I have found the contact lens that I will be sticking with I don't know but I thought I would just update you on my um poinsettia admin blanket so it is Monday today 18th and what I'm going to show you includes day 18 this video is going out on the 19th I have actually finished day 19 to 23 19, yeah, 19 to 23. I'm working on day 24 at the moment. Um, I'm probably about two thirds of the way through it. So after I've finished filming this and uploaded it to YouTube and replied to some emails, I'm going to go and finish that and block it. I was hoping to finish it and block it and join it onto the rest of the blanket today so I could take some pictures of it before I leave. But I think by the time it's finished, it's going to be dark and we're leaving tomorrow morning before it gets light. So I don't think I'll get any photos of the full blanket. The last six days or the five days that I've done, I've crocheted them all together. So they are now a strip. And then I'm going to add the 24th and then join them to the rest of the blanket. But I will show you what the rest of the blanket looks like. So start here, day one, two, three, four, five, six. And then 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I think I got the last few in the right order. So this is what it looks like. Let me just see if I can. So I've basically gone like that when I joined them. But let's see if I can show you. So, um, lots of bird day, because obviously I've seen the last six days as well. Um, do I love this advent? Maybe not. Do I love the way it looked in this, these squares? Possibly not. I think these squares look better in the version I did from the Botanical Yarns advent for last year, which is more sort of solid, semi-solid solid kind of tonal colours. I think these like bright splashes of colour doesn't really go with the lace pattern. Are there some colours in this advent that I love? Yes. Are there some I don't like? Yes. I do not like the oranges. <laughs> I like the greens, the yellows, the pinks, the purples and I like the colours in the last six days. I do not like the three orange squares. There's a lot more pink and purple than orange so that's fine but I don't think, I don't regret making the poinsettia blanket in this advent. I knew it was going to be neon, so I knew it could be very bright, and I knew there could be oranges in there, obviously. Um, I guess I'd hoped it would be more solid, semi-solid colours. Um, I don't know, if I hadn't made a poinsettia blanket, I don't know what else I would have done with this advent. And when I decided to get it that was my actual plan was to do the poinsettia blanket that's kind of was in the back of my head so I'm glad I've done it I'm glad I've kept up with it and during Advent actually got ahead of it during Advent because I'm away um and I'm happy with it but I prefer the original version but it's going to be warmer because it's thicker yarn and um I can't see myself doing anything else with it so I'm happy with my decision to do this blanket. I will definitely consider an advent from uh, Yarn Unique again next year. Possibly not a neon one. I'll, I haven't decided what I'm going to do about advents for next year. I will see when they come out 
what they like and then make a decision um, as to what each indie dye is offering. Last year I went for three indie dyes, um, one was half an advent, uh, Spectrum Fiber, Talent Pink Yarns and Orchidean Luxury Yarns and this year I went for Truly Hooked and Yarn Unique. So so far of the last and then there's somebody else the year before that so so far i haven't repeated an indie dyer for a consecutive year so i don't know what i'm going to do next year but i'll decide later on this video thank you for watching i really appreciate it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing the next video will be out on thursday and hopefully that will be a vlog showing some of our travels tomorrow and maybe see how festive sunset airport is i don't know we'll see how it goes tomorrow and hopefully what we do on the first day in norway on wednesday i don't know whether we'll be doing much actually um if I don't film enough, I do have a background, back, backup plan. So there will be definitely be a video on Thursday. So it'll either be another Vlogmas or it'll be showing off the uh, last design I did for Knitting Magazine.